Hello and welcome to Change Management Made Easy, a video series providing best practice advice for getting change management right. This is brought to you by Change Proud, a change management training and resources platform. So in this episode, we're going to show you how to build a communications plan. So let's firstly just understand what we mean when we say communications. So this is about the messaging that you're going to be sending out to the business, you know, different functions, different populations. We'll come on to that. But it's basically your communicated messaging in order to help people understand what's going on, in order to help them to be engaged and committed and to ultimately adopt new ways of working and behaviours as per whatever your change programme needs. It's absolutely critical in really building commitment and understanding through whatever type of change you're doing. You're always going to need to communicate and you're always going to need some level of communications plan. Um, so just looking at the approach here, these are some really key things you want to be thinking about to build an effective communications plan. Firstly, understanding your audience. So getting that stakeholder assessment piece right. Please look at another video we've made in this series if you want to understand that in more detail so that then you can make sure you've tailored your messaging according to what your audience needs to hear. Your core messages. I would always advise for any change program to articulate upfront four to five really key messages that describe what the change program is, how it's going to be delivered, what the outcomes are, the overall impact, etc. Keep those so that you can keep threading them through different communications. That allows you to be really consistent with your messaging. And it also means that if you've got several people sending out messages, you're all being consistent with how you're articulating the program. You don't want one person over here calling it something else and talking about different outcomes to something you've written in the latest email over here. You really want that consistency. So get those core cool messages down on paper, you know, give them out to whoever's relevant in the change team or other stakeholders so they can be weaved into all your messaging. Then channels and frequency really important. Obviously, you want to look at all the most useful channels that you can use in the business thinking about do we want to do something different let's not just send loads of emails that people get you know block, blocked up in their inbox they're not going to read them let's make videos let's do podcasts let's lose some digital you know methods really thinking about different channels to engage people again depending on what your change is depending on your stakeholders different audience needs etc frequency of course as well will depend on you know the timeline that you've got in your change plan and who needs to know what when um, also good to spend some time just thinking about accountability and governance. Communications tend to be one of those things that get held up with senior stakeholders wanting to review and change words and everyone wants to have a go at the draft. Really agree that governance up front. Don't let that become a delay because 10 people want to read every email that goes out. Um, agree the governance, agree who gets to sign off, agree what type of communications, you know, key senior leaders need to see and try and limit the governance there because you want to, you know, drive accountability and ownership through the communications team so that you can get going on on sending your comms out. Um, creating impactful content obviously goes, you know, without saying you really want to engage people, make sure you're thinking about that end person that's going to be watching the video or reading the newsletter. You know, what is it they want to know? Um, helpful to set up an evaluation approach potentially. So, you know, over time, monitor and review what's being read, what isn't, what are people engaging with, do they like it? Two way communication could be key if you're doing a big program, not just sending stuff out, but asking for feedback back. You know, you might create a mailbox for your program when people can, you know, write in and ask questions, that type of thing. So, you're really setting up that two way communication. Um, senior leadership, really key role trying to use them as a channel when you've got a really important message to send you know you want to use that person who everyone's going to going to listen to so think about who those kind of people of influence are at the leadership level to get messages to land um, and then i would always also see if you've got a communications plan and it's you know fairly big and it might be a microsoft project or something have that kind of one page a summary version that just looks out over broad time frames gives a sense of what the messages will be so that senior stakeholders who ask you know what's going on on comms you've got that to kind of show them to give comfort around what's going on and then here just some key best practice principles really so in actually writing your your communication so clear and concise avoiding jargon thinking about the audience consistent messaging we spoke about 
making them impactful, using channels that work and using a mix of channels, possibly cascading things. So from leaders through to managers um, and really being transparent, treating people as adults. I also say, you know, don't leave a big void. If you're on a long scale change program and there's a period of time where there's not much to say, at least tell people there's not much to say. You know, you'll hear from us again in the next quarter or, or whatever it might be. Don't just leave a gap so people forget and they don't know what's going on and they fill it with the wrong information potentially themselves. And here's just an example as well of, of a change journey. So when you're when you're crafting your communications plan, try to think about the overall journey that people will be going on. So we've talked about here moving from the kind of awareness phase to understanding, to belief, to commitment. So you want your communications content to help people progress through this journey. So how do you, you you're just building awareness up front. You don't want to be giving them loads of overloaded information up front. It's just starting to build awareness later on. Then it's that really in-depth understanding. Then in belief, it's really bringing things to life through success stories and demonstrations and whatever it might be. And then it's kind of showing that commitment, again, showing success stories and supporting commitment. So thinking about the change journey alongside your change plan, um, your communications plan is always really helpful. If you found this video helpful for more easy to use, accessible change management training resources and templates, please visit ChangeProud. Thank you for watching.